Hola mi gente, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean, this is We Are Investing, a channel that's dedicated in investing and personal finance. And on today's video, we are going to do a deep dive into the QYLD. So if that's of interest to you, then definitely stick around for this entire video. And I look forward to talking about the QYLD with all of y'all. To get started, what is the QYLD? Well, it's also known as the NASDAQ 100 Covered Call ETF. And that's a great explanation of what this ETF does. But do you know what an ETF actually is? It's an exchange traded fund. And essentially it's one stock, but by buying this one stock, you are getting exposure to many other stocks as well. It's almost like a mutual fund, but you don't have to pay the crazy fees with a mutual fund. Fees on an ETF are far less. And the QYLD does have a fee and we'll go over that in this video. Now this ETF was founded in 2013 and the current net assets are around 7 billion US dollars in the QYLD. It has a crazy, I mean an insanely high yield. This return is why so many people talk about the QYLD and on an annual basis it's around 13% right now. 13% returns by holding this ETF. That is why so many people are interested in the QYLD. But there are some downfalls which we will cover in today's video. Now the current price is around $18.50 for the QYLD. So one stock is going to cost you that amount and there is an expense fee of around 0.6%. So keep that in mind when calculating your total returns and maybe keep that in mind when comparing the QYLD to other ETFs as well. Now this ETF was created by Global X. If you hop onto Global X's website, you can see that they have other ETFs as well that cover income strategies or income slash growth strategies as well. The QYLD is going to be a purely income driven strategy, which we will dive into more in this video as well. Now let's cover what's actually in this ETF. When you buy one share of the QYLD, what are you actually buying? Well, if you go onto the website and you take a look at the holdings, you're going to see that the QYLD in itself actually holds a lot of the NASDAQ 100 companies. So what they are doing is they are buying stocks and stocks that are in the NASDAQ 100, which are primarily large cap tech, mega cap tech, tech stocks in general. In addition to that, if they were just to buy shares of NASDAQ 100 stocks, then this stock, this ETF would just follow the NASDAQ 100. But that is not what it does. This is an income focused ETF. So to be able to create income, they are selling monthly at the money covered calls against the positions that they have in the NASDAQ 100. Do not be confused. This is not the same as just buying the QQQ and then selling covered calls against the QQQ. It's not the same as buying the NASDAQ 100 and selling covered calls against the NASDAQ 100. They are buying individual companies that are in the NASDAQ 100 and then selling covered calls against those individual companies. And that is how they create income. They do it every single month. This strategy is known as a buy right strategy. And we cover this a lot on this channel. So if that's of interest to you and you want to learn more about buy right strategies, then definitely consider hitting that subscribe button, ringing that bell and smashing that like button so that you're informed when I upload more videos. You can also check out the playlist that we have. Options trading for beginners is probably the best playlist when covering buy right strategies. But essentially, it's a covered call. If you don't know what a covered call is, in layman's terms, is when you have 100 shares of a stock, you can then sell a call option against it and you will collect premiums for doing so. Premiums are money that you collect up front and you keep that money at all costs. The only downside is, is if your covered call ends up in the money, meaning that you are going to have to 
get rid of your shares, you have to sell 100 shares at the strike price of the call option that you sold against it. This is a covered call strategy. It's an income driven strategy. And that is how come the QILD is able to give you 12 to 13% returns on a year. It's not an actual dividend. It's the money that is collected in premiums every single month by selling these covered calls. Now with that being said, and we understand how this actually works and how the QILD actually gives you returns, let's talk about some of the downfalls that there are with the QILD. And the list can be quite extensive. And in my personal opinion, if you don't want to stay around to the very end, there are better strategies, there are better investment vehicles than the QILD. The biggest issue by far is the lack the extreme lack of capital appreciation. When you buy the QYLD, you can basically expect the value of the ETF to decrease over time. It's going to be sloping downwards in a downward trend. There are some areas or some times where the stock will increase in value, but most likely the stock is going to be decreasing. So you're going to be losing value that way. You will probably make more through the returns of the fund, giving you 12 to 13% a year, but you're not going to be able to collect all that because you are going to see some depreciation in the value of the stock itself. And this is because of that covered call strategy. It is almost impossible for the QYLD to capitalize on the upside when we see rebounds and strong upward momentums in the stock market because they're selling at the money covered calls. And essentially, they are giving themselves no room to the upside. They are selling at the money. So if the stock was by a dollar in a month, they are going to have to sell those shares. That is also critical in knowing because if they're selling at the money every single month and the stock was to fall, you start over again on the next month, then locking in losses. So it makes it very hard to get money to the upside and you're also locking in losses. So during times where the market is extremely volatile and we have a lot of downward pressure, Yes, you are hedging yourself a little bit with those covered calls, but by selling monthly at the money options, you are running the risk of locking in losses. And that is a huge question on the fund stability over a long period of time especially considering the possibility, the very likelihood of another black swan event if you were to long-term invest in the QYLD. So my recommendation to you is if you are in the QYLD, you definitely want to be diversified and you want to have investments in other assets as well because the QYLD, with it being an ETF that uses at-the-money covered calls, I do not like the safety of it over a long period of time. If you follow this channel, we talk about strategies that I think are so much better than the strategies that are implemented in this ETF. The ETF uses a very simple strategy. They make it very simple by selling at money cover calls every single month but i think that is the wrong approach you want to give yourself some room to the upside you want to be able to hold the underlying asset for as long as you can and collect the dividends so the better approach to be so the better approach to create some diversification and also to use some traditional dividend investing would be to find a dividend company that you actually like, a stock that pays a dividend that you like for the long term. Start investing in that. When you start accumulating enough shares that you can start selling calls, will then sell out of the money cover calls every single week, or you can do every single month, but sell them out of the money at a point that is higher than a resistance line. So the probability of that cover call ending up in the money is less. This way you are able to collect the dividends. You're going to get returns on that. You're going to see some capital appreciation. You're going to see the stock actually increase in value when you see the market start giving some returns. And you are also getting the premiums from those covered calls. If you continue to do that and you diversify into different stocks, your overall returns are going to outbeat the QYLD. 
you're also going to have less risk because you're invested in different stocks, not in just one ETF. So not all of your money is sitting in a global X NASDAQ 100 cover call ETF, and it's going to be way less stressful. So in my personal opinion, that is by far the better strategy when it, con when it comes to trying to income through a buy right strategy. So with that being said, let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are regarding the QYLD. Are you invested in it? Do you plan to invest in the QYLD over a long period of time? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Also, let me know if you have any video suggestions, video topic ideas that you would like me to cover on today on this channel. But outside of that, I thank you so much for your time. If you want to support this channel even more, you can do so by joining the Patreon. A link is provided down below in the video description. When you join the Patreon, you will get access to a Discord server where you will get live trade alerts from me and other members in the channel as well. I thank you so much for your time. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. And this is We Are Investing, and together we are invincible. See ya.